Hey guys, and thanks so much for joining me on my channel today. If you are new here, welcome, and if you are not welcome back, I've got some delicious recipes for you guys, including one that has been much requested, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so first up is gonna be my ribs and potato salad with some corn on the cob. It is so good. It is such a delicious dinner. It's my mom's favorite, and it is much requested by you guys, so I'm gonna show you how I make it. All right, so I went ahead and seasoned up my ribs with that like seasoning packet you guys saw. You can use anything you want, really, any barbecue rub you want. And I went ahead and thinned out my barbecue sauce with a little bit of water. And I'm pouring that all over my ribs, which I have standing up in my crock pot. And see, I didn't get it on the back there, and it's super important. Well, I guess that's the top of the ribs. So what you want to do is you have the top of the ribs facing the inside of the crock pot. And you're going to set it on high for about four to five hours. All right, so I'm gonna start on the potato salad. Um, I'm just chopping up my potatoes super finely, maybe like quarter inch to half inch uh, chunks in there. Some are bigger than others, but it is what it is. Just relatively bite size. So once these are all chopped up, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this pot up with water and salt the water. Please make sure you salt the water. It makes all the difference in the world. And I'm gonna put those to boil for about 15 minutes. So for the potato salad dressing, I'm just gonna eyeball it. You can definitely scale up or scale down depending on how many potatoes or, um, you know, whatever your taste is. But I've added in all of my seasonings here. And sometimes when I'm feeling sassy, I'll add in a little bit of pickle juice. <laughs> you definitely don't have to do that. I think it's delicious, but I know that if you don't like pickles, I'm sorry for whoever hurt you, but you definitely don't have to put that in there. It's totally up to your preference, whatever you want. Um, that's just something that I like love. So I put that in there. So I went ahead and chopped up my celery pretty finely and I'm gonna do the same with my green onions. As I said before, you can definitely scale back or even put more if you want. It just all depends on how you want your potato salad to taste. I like some crunch in mine. I like it to be pickly and oniony and celery-y. <laughs> just like, I just love all those flavors. So that's what I'm chopping up and putting in there. And then all that I'm gonna have to add after that is the um, potatoes and the um, hard boiled egg that just goes on the top. And I'll show you guys when I do that. All right, so potatoes go out of the pot and back into this bowl here. Well, I guess they were never in the bowl, but either way, they go right into the bowl with the dressing. I know this doesn't really make sense, but they are hot and they will soak in all of the dressing and it will be absolutely delicious. You can skip this step. I like my potato salad like a little bit mashed or like smoother, I should say. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I would mash it even more, but my mom doesn't like it that way. So I'm nice and I kept it like kind of chunky for her. Also, if you feel like once this is cooled off, it's dried up a little bit, definitely don't be afraid to add a little bit more mayo. All right, so once your ribs are nice and tender, go ahead and section them off like I did, and I'll put some um, barbecue sauce on the top of these, and I'm gonna broil them for about two to three minutes. All right, guys, this is how everything turned out. I got my potato salad back there. Um, I did put an egg on top. My boiled egg, uh, when the potatoes came up to a boil, I dropped the egg in there and then I drained everybody at once and the egg was perfect. So I just sliced that up. I don't like hard boiled eggs, so I just put it on the top so everybody can have some. And I sprinkled a little bit of paprika on the top. These ribs, fabulous, tender, fall off the bone. Corn on the cob, super easy, obviously. Um, but this meal is just so, so good. Totally gives me summer vibes, like I'm ready. Not for the heat, but the summer food, I'm all there. <laughs> but yeah, this is super delicious and way easier than you think. You guys gotta try this one. All right guys, so tonight is gonna be some roasted chicken and veggie pasta. This is so delicious and so super easy and I'll show you guys how I make it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get all of our veggies in here. And I left my garlic cloves whole. You definitely don't have to do that, but I think they're just so delicious when they're roasted. But um, yeah, season it liberally and get some olive oil going in there. You're gonna wanna keep your bowl after you mix this up 
um, because that's what we're gonna mix our pasta in. It's gonna be so good, I promise. So, oop. <laughs> um, yeah, so mix this up, get it on the sheet pan with the chicken. I just marinated the chicken and froze it, and I don't remember what I put in that marinade, but it was probably just the mix of these spices and some olive oil, to be honest. But I'm gonna get these bad boys in the oven at 400 for 25 minutes. All right, so these look perfect, and I'm gonna show you guys how I make the pasta. So this is why I told you to keep your bowl um, with all those delicious seasonings and a little bit of olive oil left over in there. I'm gonna put my pasta in this bowl with some butter and I'm gonna scrape the like seasoning off the side and just really keep mixing up my pasta in there. And it somehow creates this like delicious little like sauce in its own. I don't know, but it's really good. <laughs> So once I've mixed up my pasta a little bit, I'm gonna add in some chopped up chicken. I did this in batches just because I didn't use a big enough bowl, no surprise there. So um, <laughs> this was mixed up enough for like two of us. So um, yeah, just going ahead, adding in the chicken, adding in the veggies, adding in the Parmesan cheese. Oh, you guys, this was so delicious. Totally my favorite for the week. Oh, so good. All right, guys, like I said, look at the beautiful colors and just like the herbs and spices all over this pasta. And it's so like fresh and light. There's no heavy sauce on there. It's just literally like the flavor from the veggies and the chicken and just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. When I was like thinking of how I was going to make this, because I knew I wanted like a nice chicken and veggie pasta. I just like thought to myself, I was like, well, I'm just going to mix the pasta up with a little bit of butter and I'm just going to put it in the bowl that I season my veggies with. And I'm so happy I did, you guys. This was so delicious. So super easy. I really hope you guys try it. All right, guys, the last thing I'm making is some breakfast for dinner. I'm going to make some pancakes and bacon with some scrambled eggs. And I'm going to be making a berry compote to go on top. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on my uh, berry compote. I've got some blackberries here that I've of course washed and I washed my strawberries. I'm gonna go ahead and trim them down and get them in the pot as well as the blackberries. All right, so I got my berries in my pot. Berries are so gorgeous together, you guys. Like, I love them. I don't know how, like, they're so appetizing. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but anyway, so I've got my quarter cup of sugar in here. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of water. And that's just to start. I'll add the other quarter cup of sugar later on. And I'm just going to let these kind of um, get going in the water, heat up, and start to break down. And um, before I go, I'm going to put some lemon zest in there. And um, you just want the yellow part, no white, because that's like super bitter. So just the yellow part. And then whilst I was um, what like zesting this, I had an orange that was um, sitting on the counter staring at me. So I was like, well, I'll put in some orange zest too. Why not? It's a party. So it was good. You know, I, I mean, it's like a fresh little brightness of citrus in there. And it was delicious. All right, so I have retrieved my bacon from the oven and they look perfect. And guess who's here to help me the second that I pulled that bacon out? I swear, she's got <laughs> she's got a set like a sixth sense for bacon <laughs> and all food really. <laughs> all right, so first of all, you guys, I did not order and I didn't even know that Captain Crunch berry pancakes were a thing. This was a substitute on a Walmart grocery pickup. And at first I was like, oh sick, that's awesome because I love Captain Crunch, like the berry whatever cereal. Let me tell y'all, this was a lie. First of all, I'm skeptical because the like mix didn't come in a bag inside the box. It was just like the mix in the box. So I was like, mm, red flag. Secondly, it tastes literally nothing. It didn't taste like barely anything. I was like, oh my gosh super let down but i mean they're pancakes whatever but like oh, so sad so do not buy these with the hopes of having berry tastic pancakes because they are certainly not berry tastic at all all right so now that i've had my public meltdown about these i'm gonna show you guys how i made them i just follow the directions on the box the box of lies and i'm sorry last one <laughs> Um, but anyways, I put a little bit of vanilla extract in my pancake mix usually. Um, so you guys are going to see me put some of that in there. And then I'm going to get them on the griddle and cook them up. And I'll show you guys how the whole plate comes together.
Then I just decided instead of dirtying another pan, I would just make my eggs on the griddle as well. Made a little bit of a disaster there, but they turned out good. All right, so these have been simmering away for a bit, so I'm just gonna go in there and um, start crushing them. It's mean, like mashing, not crushing. <laughs> Um, and just so I have like a little bit of a chunky consistency, but also like have broken down um, Some of the berries in there. So that's what it looks like. It's delicious and it's beautiful. I love that color. Just oh, beautiful All right guys, so this is everything all plated up here. I got my bacon and I got my eggs I've got my non berry tastic pancakes that I made berry tastic myself with my delicious berry compo so take that, Captain Crunch. Don't need no man. Made my own berry tastic pancakes. Yes, I know I'm a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, these were delicious with my berry compo and breakfast for dinner. You can't go wrong. All right, friends, that's going to do it for me this week. I hope you guys got some delicious dinner inspiration. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite was in the comments. And definitely don't forget to subscribe for more. I hope you all have a blessed, safe, and awesome week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!